So today I'm going to show you how to set up a variable data sticker in Roland VersaWorks. The sticker itself is going to look like the top image here. It's going to be cut out to the shape of the whale and then have a box around it. Then we're going to have a name, an address, a city, a state, and a zip. When we set up the file in Illustrator and when we send it into VersaWorks, it's going to look like this. And each of these fields are going to be defined as VDP, which is variable data printing, and then the name that we want to call it. So in this example, VDP name, VDP address, VDP city, VDP state, VDP zip code. So now let's go and get the data that we want to use for this. And we're going to probably have a giant spreadsheet like this. You're going to want to insert a new row at the very top. And then this is really important. The, the way we name the fields is every uh, column has a VDP, which stands for Variable Data Printing in capitals, underscore, then the name. So we can call this VDP email, VDP address, VDP city, going to ignore this, VDP state, VDP zip. So now we have everything saved correctly. We're going to save as a CSV file. So just like .csv file here. We'll save that on our desktop. And now we're ready to set up the actual sticker. So I've picked this piece of clip art and we're going to go from the very top here. So I'll select the clip art, control C. I'm going to make a new layer and then I'm going to press control shift V. By pressing control shift V, you're going to paste the object in the exact same place. If you just press control V, it can copy the object anywhere in Illustrator and then that can get really annoying. So now I've got the object copied in the exact same spot. I'm going to hide the layer underneath it. I'm going to go down to the pathfinder tool and hit the shape tool. Now I'm going to need to give it a stroke and select a color. And now I have the cut line for the outline of the whale. Now the next thing I need to do is create the box that's going to be outside here. So it's going to look like this. And I want to make sure that there's no fill on the inside so I can see what's going on here. And then I'm going to get this tool and stretch it out like this. Now once I'm ready to combine the two shapes, then I've got the two shapes. I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to press the Unite button and then that's going to give me my outline. Now I can go back to the layer I just hid, make that visible, bring it to the top and now there's my cut line right here and I'm ready to start putting my variable data in. So this one So now what I'm going to need to do is create a new swatch. Now when I'm creating a new swatch, it doesn't matter what color you can pick. You can make it anything in this one. We're just going to make it red. Perfect. And we can call it anything that we want. So it's really important that we match it from the spreadsheet. So we're going to call this VDP underscore email. Oh, it says that it's already in use. That's because I have already created them in here. I'm just going to trash them so we can remake them. There we go. So now I'm going to recreate a variable data printing setting. It's going to be a nice yellow color. And we're going to call it a spot color and we're going to call it VDP email. And we can get a box. We're going to call that VDP email. Now we need to create a new one and we're going to go VDP address. And again, it doesn't matter which colors. You could make each one of them different. You could make them all the same. It really doesn't matter. It's really just important how you name them. So then we'll make another box down here. Make sure that's there. And we make sure that's set to VDP address. Yep. Now, I think I accidentally set this one back to VDP address, so we'll set that back to email. That's why it's sometimes nice to make them colors. So this is VDP email, this is VDP address. Uh, we'll make a new swatch in here. VDP 
city. Perfect, this is gonna be a gray color. And this is really just setting an area where you can define uh, the information that's gonna go in, in each box. So you don't actually set the font size or the font color here. This is uh, this would be done later. So we're gonna make a final box here and we're gonna call this state. So each for each variable data field, you're gonna need a uh, different VDP spot color. So we're gonna call this a zip code. Um, all right, and I have left out one of the fields, so I'm just going to move everything around here a little bit. Okay, so you can click on each individual one and go and hover over them. This is VDP city state. Okay, so I'm missing the state. So what I need to do is put a field in for state. That was in my haste. And what I'll do is I'll make a new layer here and call this VDP state. So now I have all of my fields matching the spreadsheet. Perfect, and then if I hover over, VDP state. So this one should be VDP state, VDP zip, VDP city, VDP address, VDP email. So now we have the sticker exactly how we want it to look. Uh, we'll need to just go in here and then just set the actual cut line on the very outline because we didn't do that here. So we will load from the swatch library, Roland. system library and then we'll select cut contour from over here and then depending on where your cut contour is in that menu it depends on how that'll look so now we have cut contour VDP with different fields that match my Excel spreadsheet we're going to be ready to save this file and bring it in to Roland VersaWorks so we'll save this as an EPS Well, sticker. All right, so we fixed that small problem that we had in uh, the two overlapping fields, and I'm going to load the new whale sticker in. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Um, there's some marks on here that I want to just turn off. There's too many job properties and stuff like that. It'll just take up a lot of room. I'm going to go down to the variable data now, enable variable data printing, open the CSV file that I created, so California addresses. It's telling me that I got more than 250 entries, which is fine. And now I am going to be able to go set the size and the alignment of the fonts. It's really important that you actually click on the top of the heading, because otherwise if you just click on one like this, you'll only change the layout or format just for one. So select the very top, it'll change it for all 250. We'll make that a little bigger. Make that. And we'll put that to the left. Then we'll select down here. Uh, and we'll stick that to the left. We'll stick here to the left. Stick here to the left. Uh, that one, the alignment doesn't matter. So now we have all 250 stickers that are ready to print. Uh, we can go down into our layout. You can see they're all laid out on my sheet for me. Uh,
There we go. I'm just making these a little smaller because they look a little big. Sometimes VersaWorks doesn't do the best job of nesting, so just switching them over here, you'll want to get media width as well. And so now we're ready to print 250 variable data stickers and cut them in a single swoop. So we'll say OK. Print.